good day viewers welcome to my youtube channel this is your tutor mr mlenga as you can see i want us to look at um, how we can find the volume of a cone okay so this shape right here the one that you are seeing is called a cone all right so this cone you can see that um it has got the circular base down here okay then from here to here we are having the perpendicular what height this perpendicular height is giving us a right angle here which is a 90 degrees what angle then on this circular base down here we can see that there is a line that has passed from this uh, part up to this end this line is called the diameter okay so if this is the diameter it simply means that from here to there you have the radius again from here to there you have the radius okay so uh, we understand that volume is the is the space occupied by an object okay so how can we find the volume of this cone how can we find the volume of this coin so formulas are very important when it comes to mensuration all right so the volume of the cone is given by this formula where we say volume equal to now here you can see the base that you have this is a circle so if you want to find the volume of this coin you are going to say area of base the area of the base times height okay so in short we are saying volume equal to since this is a circle what is the formula for area of the circle okay so here we say 1 over 3 then times the area of base so the area of base for the formula of finding the area of the circle is c by r squared okay so remember this area of base was multiplied with what height there so you put height this is the formula that you have to to apply when you are finding the volume of the cone so i hope that you have followed me nicely so volume of the cone is given by the formula volume is equal to 1 over 3 by r squared h all right all right so this is how we can use this formula for finding the volume of the what of the cone so volume is equal to area of base times height or uh, now here where we have area of base we can put one over three then the area of base that we are talking about is this base of this coin right here because we have said this base is a circle so we are going to use the area of the circle which is by r squared okay then multiply it with what with h now let's look at um, an example okay so suppose uh you are given a a cone like the way it is this one you are given a cone for example like this you are given a cone okay you are given a cone like this then here we have said you have your height there then uh, there is the radius there so the height we are saying if it's four centimeter and the radius here maybe is two centimeter okay then they say find the volume of this coin okay they want you to find the volume of this coin now remember in an exam maybe you may find that they have just given you a complete line here and they have said maybe it's a uh, four centimeter for example from here to there is four centimeter remember what i said this is the diameter Okay, so the diameter is twice the radius. So if the diameter is 4, it means your radius would be half of 4, which is 2 in this case. That is just an example I'm giving. So how can you find the volume of this coin? Quite all right, we are going to apply the formula volume equal to uh, 1 over 3 by r squared h. So volume equal to. Now what is our data here? What is our data? We say 1 over 3 times so you find that uh in paper two the value of this pi okay value of pi can be pi equal to uh 
3.142 or 22 over 7. But for 22 over 7, it's normally used in paper 1, okay? So in paper 2, you are going to use this value of pi, 3.142. So where there is pi here, you are going to say 3.142 times R is the radius, okay? And in the question, the radius from here to there is 2. So you say 2 squared times your height here is 4. From here, your perpendicular height is 4, okay? So just say uh, 1 over 3 times 3.142 times 2 squared is 4 times 4 equal to so uh, this is paper 2 so you can just uh, punch everything on the calculator as I'm punching ensure that you are also punching so that we get the same value okay so what I'll do is uh, 3.142 times uh, 4 times 4 understand that it's uh, 16 okay so the value that I'll get I'll divide with a 3 here Okay, so it's giving me something like this, uh, 16.75733333. Okay, so in an exam, in an exam, they do specify that um, if the degree of accuracy is not specified in the question paper, leave your answer correct to three significant two T figures, Okay. But if it's specified, maybe they have told you to leave your answer to two decimal places or three decimal places. You are you are at liberty to do that. So from here, we'll leave our answer correct to three significant two T figures. So it will be 16 point. So this 7 will be rounded off by 5. So it will be 8. Okay. So the units are centimeter. Don't forget to put a cubed there because this is volume. So... Uh, the final answer there, volume is equal to 16.8 cubed centimeter. Okay, this is how simple we can find the volume of the of the cone. Now, remember, in an exam, again, we have indicated the height inside here. It can be indicated from here up to here. It can be uh, indicated like this. Okay, the height. Then here they will give you the height. So they can either indicate it from here to here or they can show you the perpendicular height there inside the, the cone, which is very important for you to take note. So, all right. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. If at all you have not understood, you need a clarification somewhere, you are free to leave the comment and I'll be able to, to respond. Thank you.